Welcome back everyone. The storm's moving in on the Indiana State homecoming this afternoon and the Sycamores walked into a bit of a storm early in this one as well. But could they overcome? ISU welcoming Youngstown State to town for homecoming this year. Local product Chris O'Leary back from injury today and making an impact on the first drive. Great grab there by O'Leary, one of five catches for 69 yards. That led to an early Sycamore lead on this chip shot from Tanner Fritchley. He drills it and ISU strikes first. Youngstown answered with a touchdown, but ISU moving it again here. Keani Harris drags the toes to reel in the pass. He led ISU with 101 yards receiving, but the Indiana State red zone troubles began when they couldn't convert and they escalated here. Mike Parrish dropping back, throwing it towards the goal line. It's intercepted there by Jameel Smith and Smith runs this thing back to perfection. Tucked in perfectly behind his blockers the whole time. Smith takes it 95 yards to the house. That puts the Penguins up 14 to three. 21-3 now when ISU trying to strike back. Mike Parrish again this time. He finds Samston Levingston. That's a pretty throw and catch. Cuts the lead to 11. Levingston had all three scores for ISU today. After a long rain delay and even more scoring, ISU trying to make a late charge. This is a two point conversion with under two minutes to go. That cuts it to 11. Buck Logan takes care of business there, but that's exactly how it would finish. Indiana State drops this one on homecoming 35 24 to Youngstown State. In any game, especially in a defeat, there's things you can learn from it. And we've got to learn from this. We've got to grow from it. We've got to get better at the little things. That was something I told our team in, in, when I talked to them. We said after last week we needed to get better at the little things. And it's not good enough. 